Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, I hope everybody's getting ready to have a wonderful family holiday with Thanksgiving coming. We've got friends and fun and all kinds of food. And this week, it kind of gets a little crazy, and we usually don't have a lot of time to just to play and embroider. So I want to talk about something that I have neglected to mention. We've had so many fun new updates with our last update, but we've been so busy traveling on the road and answering questions um, that I've been getting on the road that I haven't really pointed out some of our new fun features. And I wanted to point out something that I think is phenomenal. We've had a lot of requests for people to say, you know, I don't really like the way you put your icons up and those aren't comfortable the way you're using them. And so what DJ did is he worked very hard to start categorizing our icons so like is together. For instance, everything to do with lettering is together. So, you know, we've got editing tools are together. Um, so DJs kind of work this so that they're in groups. They may not be where you want them, uh, which would be convenient for you, but they are in groups. And in doing so, we kind of shifted some stuff around that made me a little crazy at first because I always went right here to get my um, artwork tool because you know how I always use artwork and shapes, and I was used to this being over here. So I know that it has been a little disconcerting, but the reason that was done is to make everything much easier for you to customize and make the workspace so it's fun for you. Okay, it's Thanksgiving. I may be able to run in and do a couple of monogram towels or something, but I'm really concentrating on food and family this week. So I might want to customize a workspace and save it so that I can set these up that work for me. Now, for instance, you can see all of our lettering um, icons are together. Well, I might want to come over here and you're going to notice we have these like little indentions. They kind of look like a row of dots pushed into the gray toolbars. These are sections that are in between types of tools. So I might come over here and grab my lettering and say, you know what? I'm going to do a lot of lettering. So I might want this right here where it's convenient for me to get to every time. So I might put there and I might say, you know, and I might want to do some stuff with some custom shapes and stuff and put lettering in them or make some applique behind them. So I'm going to go ahead and bring uh, my artwork shapes, my backdrop tools and stuff right here where they're comfortable for me to get to and to use. And that way they're right in front of me. Now I could also say, well, you know what? I like the text here, but with them here, I also would like these right next to them. So you get the idea. I can now come in here and start moving these things where they're very comfortable for me. See, this is one of my favorite tools. I use this and I use um, all of these digitizing tools all the time because I like to use vector line artwork to create my shapes and stuff that I turn into one click wonders using my magic at the bottom of the screen. So by doing this, I can make this where it's really comfortable and fun and easy for me. I could say, well, you know, I want these available, but I may not want them sitting in my workspace. You know what? Maybe I would like to pull them and I might like to make a second row over here. And so I might want to put them right up here with where I'm using my select, I've got my, I like kind of my working tools on the left because I'm comfortable with them there. But you get the idea that this is all personal preference. Well, let's say I put these here so I can work with them. And I might be doing a lot of fun lettering, doing some lining stuff up. And I might want to come up and say, well, you know what? I want to get my tools that are going to align and distribute and put them close as well so that everything's right here. I'm not going all over the screen to work it. So I can stick these here. Again, I could have stuck them on a toolbar. Now I might, might want to pull this over. You get the idea. I just want to move stuff where it's comfortable for me. So once I get that, and I might say, this is my lettering toolbar. So I could come up to toolbars, 
and I could say come to these workspaces and I want to save this workspace as my lettering workspace. So everything that I'm doing with lettering is easily available right in front of me. Or I could have put them right here in the center and moved everything to the side and away. And there'd be baby tools that you never use. Now, we all get favorite tools. You know, I don't use in here a whole lot. Those are more specialty tools to me. This is my fling feature, my repeat, my corners. And I love these features, but it's not something I use every single day. So they're in my every single day spot. So I might go ahead and put my align up here because I use this a lot. I use align, center, center. I like to distribute stuff. That is something I use a whole bunch. And I use lettering. And most of us, the reason lettering was first on your toolbar to start with is lettering is one of the most important things we use and we use it the most. So you can see now I'm kind of scooching stuff over here that I may not use as often because I'm very comfortable right here in my toolbar. Now I might move this stuff around and say, okay, let me see. I might want to pull my editing tools right out here. Let's scoot these up and say, okay, I'm going to put those there. I'm going to take these now and I'm going to bring them over here because I don't use those as often. Um, and you get the idea. I am moving these things around. So I might want to call this one because I like this right here. And again, having my alignment tools real easily accessible right in front of me is comfortable. So I might go, okay, toolbars. Now I'm going to save this workspace and I'm going to save this one. I'm going to save this one as editing. Okay. And we could continue on. Now I'm going to stick these back over here where I like them up here. Let me put them right here. And I might say, okay, I want to do something that's got just some fun. So I might bring this down. Now this is, of course, got my color play, my you design it, my word play. I might be wanting to do some fun stuff with this. So I could save this as my specialty workspace, and that would come up right in front of me every time. So you get the idea of what I'm doing. And the way you can move them is you just find that little break in the section, and DJ has wonderfully organized these all within what they belong to or what their category type is. This one's kind of fun because this has got some of my fun tools to work with. It's got my distort. It's got my fit to frame. And notice, remember, if you're not sure of an icon, you don't even know what it is, but it's been there, all you have to do is hover. Create outlines. So if I was going to be working with maybe doing some echo quilting in the hoop or stuff, I might pull this outline out. Pull this modify options out. So you get the idea of what I'm doing here all the time with moving these around. And you can make more rows, just drag and drop. That's the fun of having this toolbar. These are my wizards. Now you may not ever use wizards, or you might say, well, you know what? I want to make a wizards toolbar, but I've got this thing in a mess. So I'm going to go to toolbars. And I'm going to go to workspaces and say reset. Now it's going to take it back to its default that DJ set it up for. Uh, it's just our default one. So I could come here and say, you know, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff with wizards. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my wizards down here and work with my wizard toolbars. So I hope you understand what I'm saying here. I'm just showing you that you now have the freedom to customize your workspace so it works for you. That has always been one of the great things about Floriani is that our workspace has always been surrounded by our tools. They've always been readily available. But now, besides being available, DJ has made it available so that now we can customize it to our particular needs and wants where it's easy and right in front of us at all times. So I'm looking forward to having a great Thanksgiving with my family, and I know you are with yours. Let me show you one other thing I just realized I didn't show you. If I go to this toolbar, and you can see the workspaces, let's go to my lettering workspace. 
You notice it brings that workspace right up to me. What if I made a toolbar and I'm thinking, I don't even know why I made that. I'll never use that again. I can go to toolbars and I can go to my preferences. I'm sorry, toolbars and go to my workspaces. And then I can also delete the workspace. So you can add as many in as you want. You can delete them as you no longer need them. But you can have a lot of fun. And if you didn't download this month's designs, I want you to come and look at your free monthly designs. And we are in November hmm, of 2017. I don't know why I downloaded it. It disappeared on me. Hmm, it's not there. So what would I do if it's not there? I'm going to go to my Floriani. Oh, of course, it would be time to update something in my, in my computer. I'm going to go to my Floriani Club here. See if it'll come up real quick. There we go. I'm going to go into my club just because I want to point out and I'm going to sign in. And remember, if you haven't downloaded our free monthly designs, do so. I'm going to click into the club real quick. And I'm going to come here because we do have some fun designs that you can download. So you can download your current month's designs. And if you do need to stitch out a quick little corner of a napkin or something, we've got some fun, quick designs for you to stitch out for your Thanksgiving table. So I hope you have a wonderful and a much blessed Thanksgiving. I look forward to seeing you next week at the Project of the Week.